Hello, this is Pastor Jim Ponko with the Midweek Meditation for June 23rd, 2022. I'll be reading for you from Paul's second letter to the congregation in Corinth, the third chapter, beginning in the seventh verse. Now, if the ministry that brought death which was engraved in letters on stone, came with glory, so that the Israelites could not look steadily at the face of Moses because of its glory, fading though it was, will not the ministry of the Spirit be even more glorious? If the ministry that condemns men is glorious, how much more glorious is the ministry that brings righteousness? For what was glorious has no glory now in comparison with the surpassing glory, and if what was fading away came with glory, how much greater is the glory of that which lasts? Do you know what Paul is talking about here? He, he talks about Moses and, and his shining face. Well, in the book of Exodus, we are told that when Moses came down off Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the law, the Ten Commandments, that his face was shining that his face was reflecting the glory of God. In fact, Exodus tells us that Moses' face was so radiant that Aaron and the people of Israel were scared of Moses. They, they couldn't stand to look at his face. They were afraid. So after Moses said what he had to say to the Aaron and the people of Israel, he put a veil over his face, a piece of cloth that covered up the shining of the God's glory on his face. But Paul adds another detail. He says that over time, the glory that was shining off of Moses' face began to fade away. Moses didn't just put that veil on to hide the glory of God. He also put the veil on to hide the fact that God's glory in the law was fading. Uh, what's the point? Well, Paul is reminding us that as amazing and important as God's laws truly are, they are not nearly as important or as glorious as the gospel. You see, ultimately, the only thing that God's law can do to us is condemn us. It can only show us that we are not what we're supposed to be, that we don't measure up to God's ex expectations, and that of ourselves, we have no reason to expect that God would welcome us or would love us. In fact, the more one studies God's law and all of the different things that it condemns, the more one should recognize how often we break God's law. If you think about it, if all you ever did was teach people God's law, you could only put them down, condemn them, make them feel bad about themselves, and pile more and more guilt on them. God's law is a gift from God, but it's not the kind of gift that makes you happy. In fact, in this text, the Apostle Paul calls the law the ministry that brought death. But Paul points out that we have another message to share as well as the message of God's law. Just like the law, this message came from God. It was brought into the world by many different messengers. But this message especially came through Jesus. And this message is more glorious than the message of the law because its glory never fades, because it is an eternal message of hope. The gospel doesn't bring shame and guilt. The gospel brings hope and joy. The gospel is the good news that Jesus lived, died, and rose again for us. And that the guilt that God's law brings on us has been washed away by the blood of Jesus shed on the cross for our sins. Sometimes I think we forget what an amazing God we have 
And what a glorious privilege is ours to, to share the message of the gospel with the world. That privilege is more glorious, Paul says, than Moses coming down off of Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the law in his arms and, and the glory of God shining from his face. That's not nearly as glory, glorious as, as what we have to share with the world. When we share the gospel with people, we show them what God is really like who God truly is. We praise God for what He has done. And we show the world that God loves them as He loves us. You know, I'm kind of glad that I don't have to wear a veil like Moses did. But I'm still happier yet that God's glory shines through you and me every time we share the good news of Jesus with someone else. Let's pray. Lord God, before the suffering and death of your one and only Son, you revealed his glory on the holy mountain. Grant that we who bear his cross on earth may behold by faith the light of his heavenly glory and so be changed into his likeness through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.